All right, folks, I'm Trevin here, uh, the new morning host at Austin City Limits Radio. I'm joined by Lizette Tawada from UT Health. She's a dietitian, and today we're here to talk heart health and small steps that you can take to get better heart health. Lizette, how are you today? I'm doing well. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're quite welcome. Um, I'm sure our listeners are dying to know, what does eating heart healthy mean? And what does a heart healthy diet look like? Yeah, so this is a diet that is high in vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and healthy fats, which are the fats that come from the plants. This diet is also low in saturated fats, which are the animal products. So you're saying pretty much eat my veggies, right? Yes, man. Focusing on that, that's like a great start. I love vegetables. I know a lot of Austinites do too. Sort of when in the stage of someone's life is it good to start incorporating a heart healthy diet into your way of life? Yeah, so when you're looking to improve your cardiovascular health, or have already been diagnosed with a heart disease, or have a high cholesterol, or you're suffering from high blood pressure, like this diet can really help you better manage these conditions and also lower your risk of having a heart attack. But also this is a healthy diet for everyone. With COVID right now, the less sort of preconditions that you can have, the less susceptible you are to be long-term affected by something like COVID, right? Yes. So this is a great way to prevent like any disease, but also kind of like to fight like COVID, right? Like you are saying, because also having a healthy way too and having a healthy diet would really help you fight uh, this virus. So what tips would you give someone to incorporate heart healthy foods into their diet? Just easily. Yes. So focusing on eating, like you were saying, like plenty of fruits and vegetables. Plenty. No, that's what you were saying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I think that that's a great point. Like if you start focusing on that, choosing whole grains, uh, like oatmeal, uh, whole wheat bread, brown rice, quinoa, uh, reducing sodium intake is going to be very important by limiting like fast food, processed foods, and canned foods. Limit meats that are high in saturated fats like red meat, bacon, sausage, pepperoni. Well, we live in the barbecue capital of <laughs> the world. I know, I know. You can still enjoy like barbecue. You can still enjoy red meat. Yeah. Uh, everything with moderation, right? Like continue eating meat, but try to incorporate more like seafood. We recommend to eat seafood like two to three times per week. Also, you can choose like plant-based proteins like beans, lentil, garbanzo beans. So everything with moderation, right? And also, I don't recommend to follow like any strict diets because these diets are not sustainable, right? It's important to focus more like on small changes. Create some specific and achievable goals, kind of like I want to focus on eating more vegetables. I'm going to eat vegetables once or twice per day. Or I'm going to eat more seafood, like eat seafood like twice per week. What kind of seafood would you recommend? Any seafood that you like, but especially the ones that are high in omega trees, like okay. salmon, sardines, shrimp, if you enjoy shrimp. So any seafood that you like, it will be a great way to incorporate that in your well, diet. Luckily, we live, you know, in the Gulf Coast and we have access to lots of good fresh fish just, you know, three hours and change away. So that's good news for us. Yeah, so we have a lot of options, right? Barbecue, but also seafood. <laughs> I, think, I think what I'm hearing you say sort of overall is balance, right? Yes, that's the main thing. I really recommend this like 80-20 rule. We want to eat healthy at least 80% of the time. We still have that 20, right? To eat foods that are not that healthy, but try to enjoy everything that you eat. Uh, that's going to be the main key, balance and moderation. If you can do things that are good for you, the majority of the time, it seems like there's a little bit of room to do the things that we enjoy that might not be so good for you some of the time, right? Just a little bit of the time. You're right. Like everything with moderation and always like practicing self-care, right? That's right. going to be the main thing. Something that I've learned with some of my health practitioners is to never be afraid to ask for help, right? So if you're struggling with something, folks like you want to be asked these questions, you know? Yes. And, and remember, we have a team at UT Health Austin when we provide all of these services. Like if you need counseling, if you need like physical therapy, if you need nutrition services. So, so we have a team because we focus on like the whole person, right? It's not only about diet, it's about the whole person. Well, for sure. Um, well, before we wrap things up, do you have any other advice? Any hot bands that you're listening to these days? 
Uh, yes, well, listen to music, do things that make you happy. Also, exercise is going to be important, like, especially right now, right? Like during this pandemic, if you love nature, try to go on hikes, like being active is going to be very important too. So, so yes, yeah, so don't forget to take care of your health and your heart. It's very, very important. Yeah, and I think that if you take care of your heart, it'll take care of the rest of you, your mind, body, and soul too, right? Like you said, it's all connected. And our pals over at UT Health Austin definitely want to help ACL radio listeners be the best that they can. Lizette Tabwada, we really appreciate you stopping by and talking with us and ACL radio listeners about ways that we can increase our heart health and take easy, basic steps to get us there. Hey, thank you so much. Okay. This was fun. Thank I you. feel like we're buddies now. So that's cool too. Right? It's nice getting to know you a little bit and uh, we'll talk again soon. Thanks to you for listening to our chat today. And thanks again to Lizette Tawada from UT Health for those eating heart healthy tips. To learn more or to make an appointment for general or specialized care, visit uthealthaustin.org or call 1-833-UT-CARES. 1-833-UT-CARES, UT Health Austin. Caring for what matters most to you.